hello everyone it's me asmari welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you this type of product photo manipulation in photoshop so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so going to the file at first taking new options from here i'll take that 250 or 250 that means uh, 2500 2500 and here i'll take 200 pixel per inch rgb color mode and all the stuffs are by default here i am taking the transparent background and hit ok and then hit the create button after that we'll do all the stuffs over here at first going to the file and going to the place embedded options from here we'll take the bottle png juice bottle and making this one little bit of smaller and rotation little bit of like that and like this and hit the tick button after that right press and rasterize giving the name b o double t a l e bottle that's good we'll take the background from here going to the solid color or you can take the gradient over there taking the plus sign just dragging in a downside and after that going to the gradient or solid color so choosing color from here and hit ok that's good or if you can take the gradient what should you do if you take the gradient turning off this layer and going to the gradient options from here and choose the gradient which has two color and from there making this one into the radial and reverse this one and then after that choosing color from here suppose i want to place the color like this so this type of color and hit ok so from here you can take this one hit the ok button or you can make this one like a lighter color so like this that's good and hit ok and hit ok before that you have to change the scale like that okay that's fine and hit ok so our background is ready here the gradient option and the color option so in a color portion what should we do in a color portion here is our the masking options and here is our like uh, solid options so from here going to the brush and taking another blank layer make this one white and select once over there that's good and press ctrl t you can make this one bigger or smaller you can do like that so i'm making this one like that or you can make the bigger size of the things that's good so after that here uh, we'll add some shadows and everything so these three layers is bg so giving that bg okay and after that taking the blank layer and making it black going to the brush select once over there press t or ctrl t or command t make this one smaller so smaller like that you can make this one stretch and after that make the opacity down that's fine you can place properly that's good and now going to the file and going to the place embedded options from here i'll take the splash png make this one smaller and like that so that's the way to make like that okay fine here will these make this one into the upper side and like that so what should we do or how to do that before that you have to right press and rasterize and giving the name like splash so splash and then mask it out and the unnecessary area will remove going to the brush tool and make the brush size smaller by pressing third bracket opening and closing and remove those before that you have to make this one opacity and flow 100 percent so we are removing the unnecessary portion which is not really necessary fine and now we'll work with that so here we'll provide shadow and other steps and this one will do other steps so how to do that press controller command and select the bottle and then you can mask it out or you have to make this one into upper side so this one should be upper side fine in this portion we'll take this and the upper portion will keep that so before that we have to 
provide the shadow over there how to provide the shadow upper side of this layer take a blank layer and then B from the keyboard and just provide the shadow before that you have to make the opacity a little bit up down and the flow a little bit up down and now we can provide shadow easily so like that you can provide the dark one yeah that's fine and here you have to make this one upper side so this one okay i'm turning it on and then selecting this by pressing ctrl and then we'll work with that so how to do that taking the brush and remove the area before that you have to just remove that okay fine select the mask options and make the brush size bigger and you can remove that portion that's fine we'll keep only the upper side so this portion the upper one and remove all the stuffs that's good we don't need that so press ctrl or command d that's good and then manually you can remove them so taking another blank layer will provide shadow over there making the brush size smaller that's good a little bit of smaller and provide the shadow over there so in this area so don't provide that uh, so hard shadow you have to provide the little bit of shadow that's good and this area and you can make this one more smaller you can provide the shadow over there that's good and you can change the opacity from here if you want that's good and here you can provide the shadow so that is the upper side that's good so this portion is done now we can work with other steps so we'll go to the place embedded options from here we'll take the orange slice making this one smaller that's good and we'll put it under side of this that's good actually this that's good actually this one you have to remove the brush uh, the portion splash portion so select this B from the keyboard and you can remove that area so you have to make the brush bigger and you can just keep that so in this portion we have to provide another shadow so how to do that here is our slice rasterize that and underneath of this you have to provide the black one so be from the keyboard and provide a little bit of shadow like that so so like that so you have to make the dimension actually which is really important because of you have to uh, you have to show the shadow and the, the all the stuffs like that okay fine and now time to add some darkness in a bottle how to do that take a blank layer or after that going to the gradient options from here make this one mask right press and rasterize the layer actually create clipping mask and then you have to make the mask so angle is 45 degree and you can just make this one like that nice and now B from the keyboard you have to brush the area so this area will brush the highlight portion we will work with that you can make this one bigger that's good and you can make this one a little bit up like that or like that so that's good and fill will make the fill like that so we got the dimension over there so if you want you can brush it out and you can check it out so we'll make this one a little bit of uh, lighter so going to the camera filter and exposure a little bit up and contrast a little bit like that and adding some shadow over there and then hit okay okay let's see the before one and after one so before after we got the dimension over there and now we'll do other steps so here 
we added some leaps like that so how to use that going to the file and going to the place embedded options i downloaded some uh, leaves pattern which is the orange leaf so we'll just provide that leaves in this portion so here we'll take that making this one smaller and we have to treat that properly so we'll take this leaf one the upper side you have to make this one like create clipping mask that's good and this one we have to cut it out how to cut it uh, that is easiest way is a pen tool P from the pen tool and then you can cut it out okay right press and make selections and hit ok and ctrl or command j we'll remove that we got our desired leaf and now we can place it out we'll place it in this portion so t from the keyboard or ctrl t or command t whatever you like and make this one a little bit smaller and then will provide the shadow blending options and the drop shadow so not so long drop shadow a little bit of drop shadow that's fine that's good and hit ok press ctrl j and you can put it another way so in this portion we'll make this one into the flip horizontal and then the drop shadow value should be down like that or you can make this one a little bit like that i would suggest you to turn off the drop shadow in this case and hit ok and place it over there and place it over there so here from the drop shadow you have to make this one like more de-highlighted so this this drop shadow okay that's good that's fine press T or ctrl T and you can rotate this one or flip horizontal I would suggest you to rotate this one a little bit that's good you can make it a little bit bigger I like that so flip horizontal and you can make this one a little bit up like that okay that's good so going to the file and going to the place embedded options from here we'll use that into this portion that's good and then again place embedded options and then use the slice that is the orange slice okay that's fine and adding some shadow from the blending options and the drop shadow you can change the drop shadow direction like that that's good so we'll make it into this that's good and we'll make it in the upper set and those are the leaf we are making the group leaf leaf and all the bottles and everything will make it the product P -R -O -D -U -C -T, product meaning the background the product the leaf and now we'll making other stuffs so here going to the file and going to the place embedded we'll add some slice so in this portion and again in the place embedded options leaves a little bit of like that so like this okay fine and this type of leaves will take ctrl j and taking it in upper side or upper layer ctrl t and making this a little bit of bigger and then just placing over there so these four things will make another group and merge it after merging that going to the filter and going to the blur options and then motion blur so from here we'll make this one motion blur like that okay fine and hit okay so press ctrl t if you want you can place it like that that's good and now in a background we'll add some like dimension how to do that or you can go to the file and go to the place embedded options and placing that dimension over there 
I will use that dimension into the background layer okay that's fine and now we'll make this one into the other like blending mode so this the divide after that make the opposite down so this dimension or this thing is making that that is in a surface making this one a little bit down that's fine so the product should be bigger product and leaf this should be a little bit of bigger so we'll make this one like that nice and the downside we'll make this one a little bit of down that's good in a downside we'll write down something the text which is the orange juice and the demo text uh, i use the font name is like that and the juice font name is the monserrat and you can make this one poppins so i'm preferring here the poppins font so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any sort of questions query or request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video is signing up today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers and bye bye